Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Phantom Buster to enrich someone's first and last name with their LinkedIn URL. So if you don't have a LinkedIn URL, but you have the first and last name and preferably also the company name, you can actually upload that into Phantom Buster and Phantom Buster will find the LinkedIn URL for you. However, be cautious because this one doesn't always work and I would say around 60 to 70% comes back uh, correct and the other ones are not correct. And I'll show you that in the example in a little bit. Um, and especially if you know the company name where someone works, then uh, it highly increases your chance of finding the correct LinkedIn URL. So if you scrape, for example, different data sources whatsoever, where you know there's a company profile and you know you have the, all the employees that work there and that that are not on the, on LinkedIn, you can actually use that to find their LinkedIn URL, then automatically connect with them if you have the LinkedIn URL, scrape their data or whatsoever. So let me show you how this work works. You use this phantom. You put the first, last, and the company name preferably in the LinkedIn sheet. And as you can see here, I also got a couple of test results. Karina, Maria without a company name, Martin without company name. And to show you kind of what that does in terms of the results, make sure that your file is on editor mode. I already did that, but just to be sure, put an editor. All right, got it. Then copy link, go back to here. Click on save, number of lines per launch, doesn't matter. Phantom Buster URL. Manually, none, I got a couple. So then you can click on launch. I've already done this, but this one goes very quickly. Um, so let me show you. Spreadsheet. This one, import data. So let's see. So indeed, Adrian Kolf, correct, co-founder. Anastasia, Anastasia, head of growth, that's correct. Karina Obserova, talent acquisition to meet matcher, also correct. Maria Goes, also correct via matcher, even though I didn't put a company name, neither did I here, but here, look, Martha from the Quack. Completely random person. Uh, and Dima was also correct because I added a company name. So be careful. If you have the company name, highly increase your likelihood of finding the right uh, LinkedIn URL. If not, you know, be cautious in terms of using it. But in general, can be a very powerful way of enriching your data. Good luck.